Hi, this is Wes, and this is Wesardry, a place for terrain building, miniature painting, and other things concerning RPG and fantasy gaming. I hope you like the video. So here we are out in the garage. Years ago, my wife and kids had given me this box. I had art supplies on it, brushes, paints, some other tools. It adjusts to be an easel. It was quite handy. I haven't used it in several years. Uh, removed the foam wire on the inside, and I'm envisioning maybe a, a DM screen or an addition to a DM screen. Uh, just a while back, I'd taken a pencil drawing and cut it out with an X-Acto knife slap dash and paint on this and was a little heavy handed with the sealant trying to get i don't know some kind of effect not real happy with it but it does serve the purpose with this project i think i plan on a little more care a little more detail take the hardware off clean some more of this foam layer up and put some stains on it and then add some artwork like i did in this tray should be a fun project So after some cleanup, some sanding, um, you can see the glue residue just didn't want to totally disappear. It's left its mark, but use that to our advantage somehow. And now it's time to stain. Okay, so we have dried thoroughly.
Okay, here's the finished product after coating it with polyurethane to give it some protection and I think a nice shine. It's looking pretty good. I'm able to pack quite a bit into this handy little case from character sheets, dice, to my iPad, uh, my homebrew or purchased adventure notes, even a few minis. I added magnetic strips to the top to be able to display any stat sheets or maps that I want my players to have access to. Here I'm just using a character sheet from Tunnels and Trolls. Likewise, on the inside of the case, I mounted more magnetic strips for any information that I would need available for myself in the course of an adventure. And as you can see, it makes an effective and large dice tray. To keep the video short, I drew the beholder and stained and shaped the paper off camera. If this is something anyone would like to see in the future on a video, I would be happy to show you how I did it. So overall, I'm happy with how it turned out. Can't wait to use it. And, you know, it was a fun project to do. As you can tell, I used a black dragon and beholder uh, from Dungeons and Dragons. And I've noticed that Tunnels and Trolls doesn't get the same amount of love as Dungeons and Dragons does. And since that's the first game that I'd ever played, I thought that maybe every video I could send a little love in that direction. As we take a little longer look at the Beholder dice tray, I'd like to introduce you to a homebrew creature of mine. An evil witch, enticed and seduced an ogre chieftain and several of his best and most loyal warriors by offering riches and power beyond their wildest dreams. She offered them all total domination over human, elves, and dwarves of the neighboring lands. She concocted an evil brew, a stew made of troll and a few hobgoblin shaman who had held great power within their tribes. She led them to her lair deep into the forest. After several days of decadence, debauchery, and gluttony, they emerged as the first hobtroglans. Immense creatures in height and in girth, with a hide so thick it rivals dragon scales. Faster, stronger, and smarter, and now bound to her as loyal, murderous minions. They have excellent hearing and sense of smell, unlimited vision in the dark, and can meld swiftly and silently through the shadows. They are relentless and highly skilled trackers and killers, and are efficient with clubs, axes, hammers, and even some with swords. They have deadly claws and on their hands and feet, and their armor-like hide is covered with tumors, growths, boils, and pustules that contain a myriad of poisons and disease. Their bite is infectious, if not venomous, and they are ravenous. They will eat victims on the battlefield during battle, they invoke terror in all but the bravest, and to look upon the carnage they deal on the battlefield is horrific. Thank you for watching my video. I know I had some bad camera angles in there and some other screw-ups, but hopefully it wasn't too unenjoyable. I hope you liked the project and my homebrew for Tunnels and Trolls. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and I hope to see you again at Wizardry.